Hello, dear friend, whomever you might be and wherever you might be. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I'm almost out of breath as I've been trying to get ready for this presentation for you because I want to squeeze it in here amongst all the hol holiday things I've been doing, primarily because I love when I learn a simple lesson that has positive value in my life and I enjoy sharing that simple lesson with others. More about Bunny Haven Rabbitry a little bit later. I think it's been just over a year when I was watching a TED Talk. I have a very good friend of mine who very much enjoys TED Talks. He often sends me either an email or a text message with a TED Talk. So I was viewing one of the TED Talks that he referred me to and on the sideline, I saw one by an attorney. And she had mentioned that she was as an attorney, it's very much about critical thinking. And what helped her with critical thinking is numbers. For a short time, she became a gambler and she began to really understand numbers. So the presentation is short, but it's very to the point. I hope someday I can find which of my computers I saved that presentation on for a TED Talk. I'd like to be able to share that with you. So I'll see if I can include that later on in the link, as the link. But what came to mind for me is very much so is the founding father, W. Edwards Deming, founding father, America's founding father of total quality management, was a statistician and a mathematician. Very much business management and personal management is very much about the numbers. Deming, the one quote that's been with me for probably 20 years, a system, cannot see itself, it needs profound knowledge from an outside source. How do we get that profound knowledge from an outside source? How are we able to see the forest through the trees? So what I learned from the presentation on the TED Talk is that numbers. So the thought that comes to mind and the example I like to share with you, I did it the old fashioned way to scratch this out. To improve critical thinking, use numbers. Or do we reverse that? Use numbers to improve critical thinking. For myself, as it pertains to using numbers in a positive way, very much pertains to the creative process and creating. So the number that I'd like to share with you, this is one of the numbers. This is one, you could call it two things that I've created, Russell has created, that are in the Healing Arts Day Spa's bathroom in Mesa, Arizona. Our bathroom measures nine feet by five feet. How many things do you think Russell has created for our restroom, our bathroom? What would be your guesstimate? I just counted 33 things that I've created for our bathroom, our restroom at the Healing Arts Day Spa. As I saw, thought about those things, I thought, I'm always trimming, you know, if it's not necessary, if it's not quote important, if there's no reason, and many times that reason is to benefit and help others, I pull it. <laughs> we don't have extra space. So I'm always checking things, you know, the position, where things are put, are they easily noticeable, is the lighting correct? I hope you visit the Healing Arts Day Spa and count for yourself the different 33 things. So if people ask Russell, well, why should I learn creating Russell? Well, on this Christmas celebration, the simplest way I can present to you, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God, what did, what did God do? He created and we can learn a proven, dependable, repeatable method for creating. Per W. Edwards Deming, our founding father of total quality management, lived from 1900 to 1993. His one quote, remember it's about simplicity. <laughs> I can get carried away. His one quote, only the method matters. Everybody's trying their best. Everybody wants to succeed, 
But by what method? It's about methodology. What method are we focusing on? Are we improving? Are we sharing with others? So to come down to the point, yes, Bunny Haven Rabbitry was a wonderful to create. It was so engaging with my graphic artist and the concept that I had to capture people's attention, adults and children's attention, and the concept that Greg had. And then to see that come into reality is what creating is about. That vision, having that vision, and then bringing that down into reality. I gotta admit, I'm one of those that it's always, almost always about helping people. And it doesn't have to be that way. Some people create for beauty and for the sake of the creation, but I'm always, you know, what can I create in the best way, professional way, beautiful way, that will help others? I think this presentation could be very helpful. 33 things Russell's created in his nine foot by five foot bathroom. One of the other things that I've created, it's kind of big, <laughs> kind of shiny, is our poster very large because I believe it's very important, primarily for ladies, about our organic facial product and facial treatments, Jerleek from Australia. This was interesting because I saw a small, similar design in a magazine, which I tore out and kept for uh, safekeeping. And then I enhanced that and developed that, worked with a different graphic artist. And I highlighted very much, much to attract the attention primarily of ladies monthly or quarterly get one professional treatment to deeply cleanse extract and hydrate hydrate skin follow a custom treatment plan that targets your specific needs so jerleek treatments and products the intention was very clear for me i want to be big i want to be bold i want to be professional i want to be colorful I want to place this where 99.9% .9 of ladies and men will see this to help them with their skin care. It's hanging on the wall. So created one, frame created two. Yeah, it takes time to even to frame and get the matting right. The one other thing that I created that's a little bit larger, not quite so large. is for Montessori, to help Montessori, to help children and teenagers and parents to attend Montessori. So Arizona 2020 maximum allowed credits for Arizona citizens income tax donations. How many people are aware of this? I wasn't. I keep hearing from um, CPAs and those who help with this. Oh, people are aware. Well, guess what? They're not aware. I just heard yesterday that Florida has no state income tax. On average, we're paying 3%. On average, 50% of that is wasted. On average, government wastes about 55 cents on a dollar. So your hard earned tax dollars are being wasted Verse, you can donate to help a child attend Montessori. So very intentional. So another creating, creating, creating. Three more. Often, I have family and friends who constantly want to debate Russell about learning a method for creating. Simply put, it breaks my heart. I enjoy creating. I enjoy sharing about. I enjoy talking with children and teenagers and adults. It's very engaging, very um, pleasurable, <laughs> exciting, and so much. Uh, it just snowballs and keep. I guess it is winter time. It snowballs and and builds upon itself. What's the opposite of creating that Mr. Robert Fritz talks about? Problem solving, trying to fix something or somebody or self completely opposite. So I hope in the numbers, I guess the best I can do is 33 things that Russell has created 
that are in a nine by five bathroom, all with intention, all created with love, all created with purpose, all created to better serve you. I hope you too pick up creating for yourself, learn the method for creating. I hope you ex ex extend that to your children, to your teenagers. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope someday I hear from you about what you are creating. Please visit bunnyhavenrabbitry.com. Please visit in person our restroom at thehealingartsdayspa.com.